Husky Walleye Bass. Okay, here we go. Woo! Hey guys, Big John here. Today, I'm gonna do a little walleye cooking show for you, and this is a healthier option, guys. You know how we usually do the beer batter and the oil, and it's really good. Well, this is a little bit better for you. It's a Greek recipe, and I can't take credit for it. When I was a kid, uh, my neighbor across the street, I'm gonna say Mr. V. Uh, I'm not gonna say his full name uh, over the air, but Mr. V uh, would get me out fishing, and uh, he'd take me out to Lake St. Clair, and we fish for perch out there. And I'm gonna take his recipe and apply it to walleye today. Haven't done it in 30 years. I actually emailed him recently and he sent me the recipe again. Uh, so let's get in the kitchen and uh, let's cook it up. And it's an awesome recipe, man. I could taste it and I haven't had it in 30 years. Let's get to it. Uh, he used to do it with perch uh, and with the skin on. I'm gonna do it with walleye. I already took my skin off. and uh, But yeah, you can use whatever fish you want. All you guys need is flour, uh, a little bit of mustard and a little bit of virgin olive oil so you want to get enough oil in there to coat better have a little extra than a little less one thing mr v does he puts salt on his i'm just he puts salt and pepper on the fish first but uh i'm on a diet so i'm trying to stay away from salt so it's gonna get a little pepper. Okay, so I got my flour in a Ziploc bag. Got my uh, pepper, got my oil going. It's not gonna take long to get the oil. Uh, he said a teaspoon of mustard. So, oh, I guess I did have a teaspoon here. I just didn't use a table or I'm sorry, a tablespoon of mustard. And just get that all in the oil nicely. Get it all stirred in. Now I'm going to start putting my fish in the flour. Give it a quick dusting. And let's get her in the oil. Hey guys, I love the beer batter fish. <laughs> but I'm trying a little bit of a healthier option because I'm on a diet, so... Uh, that's why I got this going and I remember this recipe as a kid and it is dynamite there we go Mr. V would be proud and it's just cooking guys no set time here man you guys know what fish looks like when it's done Every fish is different in size, fillets and everything, so you kind of got to use your own judgment there. I'll give you a ballpark though once I'm done uh, how long this cook t took. Huh, well, poet, I didn't even know it. This cook took. Jack Talk Thai. What movie was that from? If you can, if you can name the movie uh, that Jack Talk Thai came from. Maybe Big John will get you something the next time I see you. I better not say that. I'll get a thousand replies here and I won't be able to man up to it. Got to flip it. I think it'd be ready to be flipped now. Oh, there we go. You can see it crusted up nicely, guys. Almost like a, almost like a blackened uh, fish. And I'm going to kill the heat. That's it, guys. It's been on for... Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's done. It's falling apart. It's been on for... Uh, it's been on for probably... I'd say 10 minutes. Uh, probably 5 minutes a side. Okay, Mr. V. There's your fish recipe. I added a couple grape leaves to the dinner. Some broccoli. And I found the tartar sauce, guys. Let's see what tartar sauce I have today. Uh, this is uh, Humble and Frank tartar sauce. So, must have been on sale. 
<laughs> Let's see how it is, guys. Grab my knife, my fork, and wow, we gotta try a piece of fish first, no? That's what you guys have all been waiting for. Look at that. Ho oh, ho, a little bit of sauce. Mmm. This was a great old recipe, guys. Yep. I remember it now. And it's a healthier option. Now, I know you guys are saying, oh, it's still not 100% healthy. Well, it's a lot better than the way I was going to do it. Cheers, guys. Love you all. Big John's out. Be positive. Don't be negative. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, man. Cheers.